Hi guys. Hi guys, it's Sammy and Kelsey from Forever Board Teens YouTube and today we're going to show you how to make a really cute paper plate mask with a panda really cool. and all you need is um, just a few simple uh, materials, I was about to say ingredients. Um, so yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up <laughs> below and comment your request and of course subscribe to our channel for more videos. There's a new channel and we post DIYs, vlogs, We actually comedy. haven't posted in a while because we've been really yeah, busy. Yeah, sorry we haven't posted, but new videos are coming. I'm just editing them right now, and they are coming. So comment your requests and we'll just try enjoy. to do the best we can. Bye, guys. So first, so first you need scissors, you need tape, and get you can get a whole thing of markers or one marker. Just get markers. Yeah, we're actually going to be using, we're going to make a pastel panda bear not like a black panda bear um, any color so yeah so color you could pack. really do any color you could just be creative with this i mean the regular panda is black so we're just making it colorful so if you are making it colorful then you need pastel colored construction paper and you're also going to need um tape or glue which whatever you, want. you said and a paper plate so once you have all that stuff let's get started so first, get a marker. Um, you can use any color you want. It really doesn't matter. If you want to go buy like the panda color or whatever, yeah, you can use you pastel, can use black, blue, again, white. Blue. Doesn't matter. Um, we're just gonna be using different pastel colors. colors. So first, just get whatever, whatever color you want. Um, what do you think would look cute with it? Let's. Well, use we have black. Pink. Actually, this is, is this black. I don't think. Yeah, we don't black. have black construction paper. So we're just gonna be using this cute pink. It's a Crayola marker. Um, and then you just want to make the nose. So that's what we're going to be starting with. So just find where the center of the plate is and make a triangle. Not really a triangle. Like make the edges kind of roundish. And then just color it in. So it's like that. And then you just want to color, color it in. So the whole nose is... So now what you want to do is you can use the same color or a different color is you want to, from the nose, you're just going to make a line. You can go like right. a, just a little bit. And then you're just going to make All right, let's hopefully this works. You want to make like an arc, like a smile, basically. Yeah, a smile. If this looks anything like it's supposed to look. So you, yeah, so basically what she said. So make sure it doesn't go like all the way, just like a little bit. So like this. Now we have the nose and the mouth, which is um, basically just one thing. And for the eyes, you could use the same color marker. We're just going to be using a different color marker, so it'll be more fun. Um, you just want to go a little bit over the nose. And you could fill in the eyes all the oh. way, but I'm not. So just draw a, a circle with, like, pointy edges, kind of, just like an eye shape. Just like your eye. So it's like that. And then just shade it in. Don't shade the whole thing in. Just like, kind of like, if you, you kind of make like a circle inside the eye, then just shade the circle in. If you do choose um, to color the whole thing in, I would just make small dots, not like the whole eye. Because if you did shade this whole thing in, it would probably look like a, like that. Like a <sighs> devil panda. Which, that's not good. Cooker. We're just going to be using this cute pastel blue. It looks a lot brighter than what it really is. It's more blue than what it really is. It looks kind of white. But anyway, now take your marker or a pen or whatever, I guess markers, since that's what we said in the beginning of the video. And you could trace something if you really wanted to, but I'm just going to draw this freehand. Um, actually, I'm going to trace something. I just have this cup here. Um, so you want to draw or trace Two circles. These are going to be the ears. Around the cup. And then uh, make sure they're the same size. So if you do trace something, they'll be the same size, which is good. Again, I'm just tracing the top of this cup. It's a good size. And yeah. So I guess you just cut them out. <laughs> I guess you just cut them out. Yeah, so cut them out. So um, as Kelsey's cutting them out, I'm going to get my. Um, tape or glue, whichever one you're using. I have both here. I guess I'll just use the tape because the glue, our glue is kind of dry. Um, 
so you're um cut it out oh. and so it looks like this just like a circle and it's gonna go right there um you're gonna put one there and one there see so where his ears want to go i'm just gonna put this one here first so just take that or glue it right on stick it Ooh, look how cute this is and we're okay, almost done and then again, just glue the other one. And make sure they're not right on top of each other. You want them to be spaced out. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> so. That's our managers. Our managers, okay. AKA our parents. So, um, <laughs> I'm just going to start out just a little more and put it a little higher so it looks more realistic. Okay, I'm not good at this. This is taking a while. So, yeah, just take that tape it right on. I'll fix it after this. So it should look a little something like that. that. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to get a stick. We don't really have one right now, but you're just getting a stick. We have you a stick. Kind of made a stick-ish if this even works. Yeah, and we just made that for now until Yeah, we but then you would just, so, not yeah. this long Since and I wouldn't do this color, but I think it's fine. you got to get your tape. Oh, Sorry we didn't say stick in the beginning. You actually don't have to have a stick. You can just hold it. But you can just, just hold it and like, add to the mask effect. Yeah. Oh, and you can also use a string if you want, like to make two holes and then yeah. put it around. Yeah, and then I guess you would just use a stick to And then you just hold it. it on. So I'm going to take our stick. Ta da It's not really staying. Okay. Look at this. It's falling off. But look. Oh, wow. I look like I For now, I'm just using a marker. Just saying I'm sick, so it's that's why I'm like Okay. Um, same with me. I have my really bad allergies. For all you allergy people fans. out there, <laughs> you know how bad it is right now. Yeah. It's falling off. Um, we'll just get our stick after. But look how cute this is. We should give him a name, Kelsey. What should we name our panda bear? Bob. Bob? Please. I want to name Bob. We'll name, we'll name him Nash. No. Yeah, Nash. It's Nash. Nash. Okay. So, we'll um, give you a shout out. And Carter. And Matt. And Taylor. And everyone. Okay. Anyway, but this is Nash. The panda bear. So anyway, here's what it looks like. We don't have our stick now, but when you have your stick, you could hold it up. So this is really fun, really fun to do, especially for kids. Like if you want to do a project with kids, you could do this. You could also do it with really any animal you wanted, but you might need paint. We just chose Panda because we don't have paint right this second. And yeah. it's really easy to do because it's already a white paper plate. But if you have colors, then color paper plates, then that's better. Like you could do a fish or you could do really any animal. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for subscribe. more videos. Give and this video you... a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye, bye. guys. Thank you for watching.